My name is Robert Powell. I am one of the founding members of the Scientific Coalition for Ufology. And today, I would like to welcome you to our upcoming conference in March, which is being held in Huntsville, Alabama. I will also be one of the speakers at the conference, and I will be talking about an incident that occurred November 14, 2004, and it involved a U.S. carrier strike group southwest of San Diego and an unidentified object that was detected on radar. I was asked to address the question, what importance to you does science play in the study of anomalous aerospace phenomena? Science is the only way that I know to analyze the phenomena. Um, that's what my background is in, chemistry, uh, which is a hard science. Uh, that's what my work experience is in, the semiconductor field, uh, where I was an engineering manager. So that's, that was all hard science in how we analyzed uh, electrical circuitry and how we analyzed how to improve that uh, circuitry. So I, I can't study the UFO phenomenon in a different manner. Um, when I look at UFO cases, and I've looked at thousands uh, during the 12 years I've investigated this phenomena, 90 plus percent of the cases I immediately discard. Um, you have to begin with a skeptical attitude towards any report. And that's not to say anything negative about the report or who reported it or the individual that made the report, but that's just what is necessary before one can spend time in a manner that is scientific. I mean, there has to be some type of hard data that comes with the report, something that can be analyzed. Um, when those type of cases come along, and those are the type that excite me, uh, because you have the opportunity to bring science into the picture. Um, I've had a few times when that occurred. Uh, there was a case 2008 in Stephenville, Texas, which I was able to personally involve, where we were able to get radar data. Um, a case in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, where we were able to get a video, an IR video, as well as, of course, um, testimony from witnesses. And the case that I will be talking about uh, at this conference uh, that occurred November 14th, 2004, off of the San Diego coast and involved U.S. Carrier Strike Group 11. There was hard data. So that's what drives me towards the cases that I analyze uh, regarding this topic is, is hard data. And I know no other way uh, than to use science when analyzing uh, aerospace phenomena.